Right, good morning, welcome back. Okay, paint's dry, two days later, absolutely chuffed with that finish, really pleased. It's easily as attractive looking as powder coat and it is pretty much almost as durable. Now, got to install a bearing on the bottom yoke, stick two bearings in the frame neck, then I can install the yokes and after that, move on to the fork legs. Let's get busy. First task, bottom bearing onto bottom yoke, but it's freshly painted. Now normally, if you press it down with a hydraulic press, you're still pressing on the bottom of the yoke to take the weight, that could damage the fresh paint. It is dry, but it doesn't take that kind of trauma. So in the usual way I've done in the past, turn them upside down, put the bearing on the jaws of the vise and tap that down in, but I'm still hitting on the bottom of it. So rather than hitting on it and risking chipping the new paint, I'm gonna make a little drift to go inside the stem and it just bears on that protruding steel lip and nothing else. Need a tool, make a tool, like they say.
Right, there we go, yoke's done, in, everything fitted, as far as I need to go for now. If I start assembling anything else on there, it's only gonna have to come off later on because there's more work to do. I've gotta put the shrouds in once they're painted, that means this top's gotta to come off very slightly, so there's no point in going any further than this. For today, we've got new paint, new bearings, and new risers. Now the risers are not on there because they're black or because they're tech. They're on there because they're 28 mil. I'm gonna lose the 7 8 factory cow horn bars. I'm gonna put a nice fat 28 mil fat bar conversion in it. That's look really in keeping with the rest of the bike, but that's all in the future. For now, that's my yokes installed, the bearings replaced, loads of restoration around it all, so it all looks lovely and fresh again. In the next one, I've got to start on the forks. I've got to strip them apart, clean all that muck and ming off of the bottom of them, put some new bearings in, seals in them, and then install them as well. It's all moving forward. I'll see you next time.